Video marketing is now the most effective and engaging type of content to promote your business online. This is especially true for social media platforms and Facebook more specifically. Since your Facebook cover is the most prominent component of your business page, it is the perfect opportunity to showcase your business and tell your story in a handful of seconds, which is impossible to achieve with just a flat image. The good news is making videos is no longer reserved to big brands with big budget. Anyone who owns a smartphone and a computer can easily craft a very professional looking Facebook cover video with zero skills in just a few minutes and at no cost. This is exactly what I'm going to show you today so by the end of this tutorial you will be able to add your very own Facebook cover video to your business page. I'm Luke Durand the founder of rankingacademy.co.uk where I help small business owners like you with their marketing efforts for better online visibility, step by step and click by click. If you are new to my channel, why don't you subscribe today and click the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up as it will be very helpful for me to grow my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm gonna add a video cover to one of my Facebook pages, which is a test page called bakery for you Currently, it is a flat image and I want to change it to a video. To do this, you will need two things. A, a video, obviously, and B, a video software editor. So let's start with the video. You may already have a video available to represent your business, something that you shot in the past. If you haven't, you can also use your mobile phone to make one, since cameras nowadays are of very high quality in smartphones. Alternatively, you could use websites that provide copyright free videos. And this is what we're going to do today. We're going to go to one of my favorite websites, which is called pixabay.com, where I can find loads of copyright free images as well as videos. As I'm trying to create a Facebook video cover for my bakery for you Facebook page, I'm going to look for a video that fits within that theme. In the search box, I'm going to type bakery and I'm going to filter my search for video results only. You should now see a set of results in relation to bakery. The very first row of results is what is known as sponsored videos by Shutterstock, which is a payable service. So ignore the top row and concentrate on all the videos that are below that. And as you can see, there's a large selection. As you hover on the thumbnail, you will see the video triggering. Go through a series of them and find out which one you think is most appropriate. Once you're happy with one of the videos, simply click on it and then click on the free download option. Select the size that you want to download. I would recommend you pick the first size because it is the most adapted one for a Facebook video cover. So tick that box and click on download. And then your video should start downloading. And that's it, we have our video. The next thing that we need to do is to edit the video so it fits perfectly with the Facebook video cover requirement. And for this, we need a video editing software. If you're looking to create some really professional video Facebook cover, I recommend you use HitFilm Express. This is a free video editor. They're very few and far between, but this one is particularly good because it allows you to manipulate the video and add some text and many special effects. And if you have time, then I advise you go on YouTube and find a little bit more about it and follow some tutorials. But today we're just gonna keep it very, very simple. And we're just gonna create a Facebook video cover um, and add some copy in it and also a little bit of music so you'll see how it all comes together and how great it looks. So go ahead and go to fxhome.com slash express in order to download your free copy. Once you're there, just click on Get HitFilm Express Free and then start filling in the details into the form that pops up on your screen. You might want to use a dummy email account in order to create your account and this is what I'm gonna do today. So click on the Send Me The Express Download button after which you will receive a notification that you've been sent an email. So you need to go and log into your email account. In this instance, I'm gonna log into my Gmail account if you have a Gmail account, be careful as the link will be sent in the promotions folder. So 
uh, don't worry if you don't see it directly in your primary email inbox click on promotions and then you should see a notification from fx home select the email and you will be able to download the program click on the link and install the program by following the wizard Once you've launched the program, you will end up on the home page where you've got a bunch of tutorials. To create your new Facebook cover, simply click on the new option at the top left hand side of the screen. This will open a pop-up window where you can start entering the parameters of the new project we're going to be working on. To keep things simple for our banner, just stick with the default settings and click on start editing. Don't be alarmed, I'm just gonna cover how the interface works very quickly so you understand the basics. The panel on the bottom left hand side is where you can import all your media and where you can organize all your content like videos and images. Above that, you've got a panel called Trimmer. This is where you can preview your clips, select parts of them which you want to place on the timeline. At the bottom of your screen, this is where you'll find the actual timeline where you're gonna be able to place your videos, images and audio. On the right hand side of that, you've got the meters panel, which will enable you to control the sounds. And on the left of the timeline, you've got a bunch of tools which will enable you to do all the editing of your clips. And finally, the panel on the top right hand side is where you can actually preview all the work that you're doing. Okay, so this was a very brief overview and I'm not gonna linger on it for too long because uh, we want to craft a banner. If you want to spend more time, by all means, go ahead and explore the tool. But today we're just creating a banner so you can load it as soon as you finish the tutorial. So the very first thing we need to do is to import our video. And I'm going to import the video that I've downloaded earlier on from pixabay.com. So from the media panel at the bottom left, go and click on the import option and click on media and then select the video from wherever you've stored it on your computer. In this instance, I'm gonna select the one that's called bread and import it. You can see in the trimmer that there is the video being displayed. You can actually play to verify this is the video. You can play with it. You can cut it right from here and select a piece of it which you can place on your timeline later on. The next thing I'm gonna do is drag that video on the timeline and start creating my banner. So simply just do a drag and drop and place it on your timeline. You'll see a couple of gray boxes. Just release your button and then you will see the video being displayed in the viewer. You will notice from the timeline there's actually two squares. This is because HitFilm Express automatically adds an audio track to the video. To delete it, simply right click on the link next to the box, click unlink, then select the audio and delete it. For our Facebook cover video to work, we need to make sure it meets Facebook's requirements. And that means our video cover has to be at least 820 by 312 pixels, but it is recommended that it is 820 by 462 pixels. And also make sure that the video is no shorter than 20 seconds and no longer than 90 seconds. We've initially started our cover project on the canvas that was very large because we used the default one. We now need to adapt our banner so it fits Facebook requirements. To do that, right at the top of the screen, just go to Project and then adjust the width and the height to the required dimension. In this instance, we're going to pick 820 by 312 pixels and then click Apply. As you can see, the video is now too big for our canvas. That's why I initially picked a video that was of a smaller size when I downloaded it from Pixabay. So at least I don't have to crop it too much. To make sure your video fits the required size for your banner, simply go into your timeline, right click on the video and go to transform. From there, you can fit to frame, fit to width or fit to height. Let's take the fit to frame option. As you can see, it's now out of proportion. So let's undo that and choose another option. And this time we're gonna say fit to width. 
Okay, that's much better. And now we can readjust the position by dragging it up and down. Right, that looks pretty decent. Let's check whether or not it works. This seems fine by me. You will see it's slightly pixelated and this is because it's compressed, but the final result will not look like that. I'm happy with this, so let's stop. So our video is now in place and it's also set for the correct size, but I think it's still missing something and I believe adding some audio to the video will bring it together. So we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did earlier on and we're going to import some audio sequence which I downloaded and it's very simple. It works exactly the same way as importing an image. All you need to do now is to drag it on your timeline just underneath your video. And let's now listen and watch at the same time to see what it's like. I think that's a pretty good result and it's coming together. Time to add the very last component to our banner, some text. In the bottom left panel, click on the new option and select composite shot. A pop-up should appear. If the width and the height are not matching our canvas, which in this case is 820 pixels by 312 pixels, please adjust it. Once you're happy with it, click on OK. The top right hand side panel is now where we're going to start including a piece of copy. On the left hand side of the viewers from the menu, select the A option, which is what is going to be used to include the text. Click the option, then drive your cursor to the desired size of the copy you want to see appearing on your movie and then start typing. You can stylize your text by using the panel on the bottom left of your screen. There you'll have the option to choose the font, the spacing between the lines, the spacing between the letters, the color of your font, and even add a stroke and a color for your stroke. To do this, simply select your text and start making the amendment accordingly. In this instance, I'm going to start using a different font, a more elegant one. I think freestyle script is a good choice and then I'm going to increase the size to about 90 and you can see the amendments taking place as you're doing them. Then I'm going to choose a different color. I think brown will work quite well and I'm also going to add a stroke of one and I'm going to keep white as a color and there you go. Once you're happy with your copy, you can go back to your timeline. Just simply go back to the editor from the middle panel and then go back to the media option from the left panel. You have now your composite shot right in there and what we need to do is drag it on our timeline. So let's just do that. Okay, you can now see a copy layer has been added to our movie. By default, HitFilm Express has again added an audio file. So we're gonna remove that by unlinking the layers, selecting that one and deleting it. Right, now let's have a quick look at what it looks like. And stop right there. So I know, for instance, that I do not want my copy to be starting from the beginning till the end of that video. And I need to actually shrink the duration of it. So simply click on the layer and you will see a little bracket forming right at the end, which you can drag to the desired size and where you want that copy to appear. And you can do that from the end and from the beginning. Okay. So I actually want it right at the end of the video. So I'm going to reduce it all the way there and see what it looks like. Okay, we're almost there. I'm going to bring it forward a little bit more. And what I've noticed is it actually is quite brutal when it appears. So I want it to either appear slowly or, or slide in. That will look a lot more professional. Well, the good news is you can do that with HitFilm Express very, very easily. 
The way we're going to do this is by adding a special effect to our copy. In order to do this, there's a tab called Effects on the left-hand side panel. So simply click on it. From there, you've got a lot of options, which I'm not going to cover today. But what I want my copy to do is to slide in right at the end of the video. To do that, I'm just going to search the effect options by typing slide. And there you are. There is a slide option. To add the special effect to the layer, simply drag the effect and put it in the layer where you want the effect to appear. You can see that little green box right at the top of the layer and just release your cursor. Let's double check whether or not that works. From there, I'm just going to click play just before it appears. And there you are. The layer appears right at the end. Congratulations. If you've made it this far, you have completed your banner. All we need to do now is to save it or export it and add it to our Facebook business page from your timeline. On the right hand side, click on the export option and then select content. You will see a pop up box that says go to export. Click on that. That will take you to the export screen and right at the bottom of the screen, you will see a queue where you should see your project. Check out where the output or where your file will be saved. If you're not happy with the destination, just change it by clicking on it. I'm going to save this on my desktop to make sure that it's easy for me to find and right click and start exporting. You will see the progress bar and on the right hand side, you will see your video playing as it is exporting. OK, we're all done. So technically, all we need to do now is to add our video banner to our Facebook business page. Log into your account and go to your page. Then on your main Facebook cover, click the change cover option and choose the upload photo video option. Go and fetch your video from where you've saved it. So I've saved it on my desktop and it's now uploading. You can drag to reposition and then click next. And finally, publish it. Confirm and you're all done. We're done for today. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell button. For any comments or questions, post them right below the video and I will respond to them. Hope to see you soon. Happy marketing.